well, it's time to go keep finding out if... <laughs> now it's more of, not did you kill Rita, but did you go out with Rita? <laughs> Cedric, did you go out with Rita? I dated everybody! Oh. The clown, oh. the twins, oh. the strong man, oh. the snake. You are a slut, Cedric. <laughs> the weird baby thing. <laughs> the shrimp baby. That would make sad amounts of sense. Where do you think I got my pixie dust? <laughs> oh my. The sheriff. Reading a girly magazine. What a slime bird. I'm going to talk to you. He's into pornography. I went to buy pornography at the pornography store. So this, this store, Moe's, that you were at, what type of establishment was that? Don't tell them that you were at a bar. But what is open that late at night? It was a pornography store. <laughs> I was buying pornography. <laughs> I never, would have, never would have thought of that. Hi, Sheriff. I just came in to get out of the heat. Look, I waited till we were... Back again, Dawson? I hope that you're ready to confess. I'm looking for a, a, a Barna Fife. You know anything about that near-near-near person? Can I have a gun safety course? And can I steal one of your shotguns off the wall? I heard there was some uh, dispute over the hair. We really talked about this, but I really need to get to the Rita stuff. Yeah, Doc Larson was in yeah, a real big that. hurry to pack... Did he have sexy time with the dead body? Well, Dawson, they... Okay. How well did you know Rita? How well did you know Rita? <gasps> Hardly at all. I don't patronize the library very much. Oh, I, I get imagine. my reading material down at the newsstand. I do go by there, though, when I have to go get my napkins and my lube. I know all about you and Rita. Come on, Sheriff. I know all about you and Rita. Shut your mouth, Dawson. You're pissing me off. That's his favorite swear. I don't have anything else I can do. I heard you used to date Rita. So what if I did? Rita was interested in lots of men. Jealous, Dawson? Is that what made you snap and kill her? Maybe. So what happened between you two? <laughs> so what happened between you two? Why did you break up? None of your business. Why are you asking me these questions? I'm the one with the sheriff's badge, damn it. Uh-huh, but you're the one that's got all the suspicious stuff. Did Rita dump you because you couldn't satisfy her? Did what? That's a big you Because jump. you couldn't satisfy her, Sheriff? You have no libido? Why, you little turd. I'll have you know that I was the one who dumped her. She was too bookish. Always running off to spend time with that reading group of hers. Well, that group just keeps popping up. It does. Just what is this? Just what was this reading group that Rita belonged to? I don't know. Some of Rita's friends, people from the library, I guess. She was always trying to get me to go with her, but I couldn't see myself sitting around with a bunch of eggheads discussing poetry. That's why I dumped her. Hmm. Well, I think I'll be going now. I'm going to the library. No, Dawson. Sooner or later, you're going to make a mistake. And then I'm gonna lock you up for the rest of your natural life. What about my unnatural life? Cause that happens. Guess we'll have to see that in Beetlejuice 2. Or Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, I guess, is what it's called. Well, we gotta say it one more time. Well, but it's the second movie, so it's <laughs> it's Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Could have just been Beetlejuice 2, The Quest for More Money. Sacrilegious. <gasps> and that's not anything to do with it. No oh on. dear! What in? Hey, there's another one of those clown pictures. I mm -hmm. think there's someone making out inside, and it looks like they play pretty rough. Ooh. What's happening with the TV screen? The vertical hold. Why would a morgue have a ticket dispenser? Why indeed would a morgue have a ticket dispenser? I don't need a ticket. There's no one else here. One of those daytime talk shows must be on. 
Looks like the topic is serial killers. How fun. That might be pertinent. Is that an ashtray? <laughs> yeah, it is, I would say. Who would sit in a morgue and read magazines? Oh, Chewy. Why are you jumping up on the TVs? I don't have time to sit and read magazines. Look at all the locks on the door. It's locked. Can we knock on the window? The oh yeah, I'm doing all this stuff before, just out of spite. Only. Sorry, I'm waiting for this to occur. The cat? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I want to press the button. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> Didn't say I thought I heard <laughs> someone making talk? out back there. Oh, what is it? I'm I'm very busy with a patient. Uh huh. I thought all your patients are dead. You're the cor. Yeah. Exactly. You're the coroner. Why would you be seeing patients? I have to keep a practice on the side. You don't think this town pays me a lot of money, do you? Well, if I could just get a break, I'd move out of this one-horse town. What kind of break? What kind of a break? Why, well, a real scientific breakthrough. I'm presenting a paper on the subject very soon. You don't think I take this medical examiner job seriously, do you? It's hardly a proper position for a man like me. Why are you telling me this? A man like you? What do you mean by that? What kind of scientific breakthrough? New methods of inserting DNA into the ovum, Dawson. It will open up all sorts of exciting possibilities in genetic research. It should also be my ticket out of this backwater town. So you're cloning people. <laughs> you're not happy? You're not happy here? This town offers no challenges for a man of my capabilities. Uh, mark my words, you won't see me around here much longer. If all goes well, I'll have a position at a major university or research facility by next September. What can you tell me about Rita's death? Did you kill Rita? <laughs> what do you know about... I'm so what do you know about Rita? I can't discuss the case with anyone while it's under investigation. You've been telling everybody around town about it. Why did you move Rita's body so quickly from the crime scene? Exactly. Because I didn't want anyone to see the body in broad daylight. That's how we catch criminals, you know, by hiding important facts of the case. And that's why I can't disclose those facts to you of all people, Dawson. Yeah, like, yeah. You really can't. That wouldn't work where you're I'm not an officer of the law or a myself. private eye I'd with like a to look license. At the autopsy report. Look, I told you I'm not allowed to discuss the case. All the autopsy files are locked up in my office, and that's where they'll stay. Thank you for letting me know where they're at. Right. How well did you know Rita? I heard that Rita's murder was particularly gruesome. Why, yes. It was fascinating the way the killer... D Damn it, Dawson! I told you that I can't reveal any facts <laughs> about the case! Damn it! He said a swear. How old well did you know Rita? Hardly at all. She worked at the library. That's all I know about her. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Oh, well. Oh. I heard you were seeing a lot of Rita. I heard that you were seeing a lot of Rita shortly before her death. She was, um... Aiding me with my DNA experiments, yes. She often brought me indispensable medical texts from the library. I like how it's like, she I don't hardly know them at all. And then they have to way. admit that they clearly knew her well. Because they were working with me. Did you take her ovums? It, right. Come on, Doc. Rita was a pretty girl. You're a charismatic guy. You two were having a fling, weren't you? That does it, Dawson! Get the hell out of my office! 
That seems pretty admit like you admit something was happening. Mm-hmm. No one's there. Hello. Are you having more sexy times? No one's there. Third time's a charm. It's locked. We have to come back. Really, what you want to do is piss him off about the hospital, not read a sexy time. Well, look at that. He's right back at There's it. someone making out inside. It looks like they play pretty rough. I told you. I thought I heard someone I making out back someone there. someone making out back there. That does it, Dawson! Get the hell out of my office! Yeah, that, that unfortunately puts <laughs> us right back out onto the street. I'm sorry we're cock-blocking you, but... Right. He's like, I have to go back in and out again to reset this whole thing. Sounds like something's dragging on the door. It was the bell. It has a bell. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to cock block you again. Sorry to bother you, Doc Larson. Do you have time to talk? Why are you bothering me again? I am a very busy man. Yeah, you are. You clearly see that I am having relations. Speaking of public institutions, I heard that you used to work for a hospital. Until you got fired, that is. What? Who told you this? It's all over town. Something camp. having to do with seducing a patient, I believe. Boy, it would be a shame if that piece of news got around town. Why, you'd be finished around here, I imagine. Don't threaten me, you little snot! Why, for two cents, I'd wring your neck! Get the hell out of my office and never come back! Hit the road, Jack. <laughs> Dr. Larson must have accidentally hit the admittance button when he slammed his fist on the counter. He did. You could hear him. Er yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up! Well, it's just a dead body. Look at this! You'd think there'd be a little bit more to like. Ooh. What a test For storing dead bodies. Yeah, it just went to the. Unfortunately. Blood and the flask there, perhaps? The toe tag says this guy's name was Mark Danson. He's wearing some kind of charm around his neck. It looks like a key made of glass. Yeah, because remember what they said? Yeah, we sent the key I to the wrong take person. This guy's necklace charm. He obviously wanted to be buried with it. Hmm. I may have to go back the and tag says this guy's make name them. is Mark Danson. He's wearing some kind of charm around his neck. It looks like Sometimes a key he made won't of glass. I can't take this yeah, guy. He's not gonna take it. You have to have it. Well, let's do this part. Oh my god! That's Rita! Her head's been cut off! Oh no! Okay, well, back to normal. Nothing happened here. We need the file. Where's the file? Yeah, no, so I'm trying to remember where the files are at. Rita's autopsy report. Rita's head was forcibly removed by a sharp instrument with a serrated edge and... Oh, God. Like a saw? Her tongue and eyes were cut out and left at the murder site. That's not gruesome or anything. There's that baby picture again. Yeah. So I think what I, what I didn't do is I don't think they told me who... The person uh, looked like they sent it to. Yeah, so we have to actually know that it was him instead of us, because I went ahead and walked on instead of asking them. Well, she kind of like didn't want to talk anymore. The one twin. I could have forced it out of him though. I kind of I forgot about that. Oh well. He's not dead yet. No, 
<laughs> I'm not dead yet. Don't forget, it's the shrimp baby. Yes, it's correct. We're going to the shrimp baby. Shrimp delicious. Let's get some mayonnaise. That's happy, happy baby mustard. <laughs> Yeah, she's got her mouth closed. Minnie, are you all right? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? We've got nothing more to say to you. Get out! Let go of her, Daisy! Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I may have to... Maybe you look at the postcards. No, because it's already been sent. Because remember, the key oh, has yeah. the key. Minnie, are you alright? Haven't you called? I may have to talk to uh, Pandora. It's the goblet of fire. <laughs> Ooh, watch out. This time, can I just ask you questions without all the hocus pocus? <laughs> I sense that your psyche wanders a plane far removed from this one. Mysticism holds much greater meaning for you than does normal conversation. No, another. What up? You'll be back again. <laughs> Pandora, I. <laughs> Lucifer and I. What can you tell me about the clown? I hear a distant thunderclap provoking laughter close to home. Oh. What can you tell me about Minnie and Daisy? I see a glassy envelope sent to Vaughn, who in the morning walks on four feet, at midday two, and in the evening three. But now he sleeps. What can you tell me about Gargon? I see a lightning bolt striking his head, and a great weight lifting from his heart. Thank you. That was very insightful. It was our. All right, let's see if that gets us what we want. <sighs> Snakey snake. Because I did not do that, so. And there, that's kind of in this game how to, if things won't let you do something, kind of what you have to do. You gotta I, find something. Because we still can't talk because she's yeah. covering her mouth. So we can't get the info here, and that was the only other thing you could do. And, and she gave the hint about the glass and the yeah. envelope. I wish there was lightning rock. Hmm. Or you could jump out to the main map without having to go to... Right, through the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, even the double click to go faster. What do you know about food? We know about dead clowns. I can't take this guy's necklace chart. Yeah, you the can. The tag says this guy's name was Mark Danson. He's wearing some kind of charm around his neck. It looks like a key made of glass. No, that mic. The toe tag. Try again. I can't take this guy's. Ugh. Can we find a postcard anywhere? Here's Mark Danson's autopsy oh. report. Well, probably. This says that Danson died of natural causes. Old age, apparently. Hmm, he was a lighthouse keeper. I didn't know anybody still did that. And he walked with a cane. That was her thing, you know, about walk crawling. And yeah, walk that's the answer to Pandora's cane. riddle. I walk on four legs in the morning, 
two legs during the Which, day and three legs at night. Good thing we went back the there and got the riddle to do it. Baby, yeah. And three legs when he needs a cane. Now will you take it? Any man to send this glass key to me. I don't think Mark Danson will mind if I take it. You know, he's kind of dead. So now we have... This glass key looks like something out of a fairy tale. Too bad real life doesn't always have a happy ending. Uh, yeah. Is that our closet key? No, it is not the closet key. That will come later. Onward, baby. onward, past shrimp baby. Oh, would you like some of my delicious shrimp poplars? We should, we should sell a t-shirt. That's just the shrimp baby? Mm -hmm. Sacrilicious shrimp babies for sale. The most sacrilicious. Oh, great. Oh, dear God. I have to figure out which side of each room is a mirror and which is a passage. I hate these things. We do, too. Yeah, because I don't really 100% remember. I do believe what we want. Oh, this room that is does more have ornate a different... than... Yeah, this room is more ornate than the others. So we want to get down there. There's a mirror. Now, the scary thing in about this later is you have to, like, at the end of the game, go through here and, like, not die. There's a mirror, but... I cannot remember. 100%. I need to find a... I need to find a path lead... There's a mirror between... Because it's not really letting me go very... Oh, there we go. I need to... There's a m there's a m there's a m You'll have to get yeah, it's down. down. Yeah. I need You'll have to go down one more. You're not in that room yet. That's yeah, thank you. There's a mirror. Um I think it might be a getting it in. I need There's a m there's a m I need to find I need to find a path. Hmm. Go up I need diagonally. To, I need to find Mirror between me and this room. Up there's not. And then up I need back to. And then down. Yeah. I need oh, to. That's a dead end. Go all the way up, I think. That's all dead ends. There's a. There's a. Here we have to go. Trying to go backwards. I need to, I need here. To, right, because we gotta get to there. Down. Down. How do we get here? Um, I need to I need to It looks like you can get But once you get I need to there's a mirror okay, so between there's me. nothing. I need to... So this is a go, dead end, go, isn't it? Go up one. Over. Over which way? Like here? Well, yeah, that's where I came from. Oh, down. This one. I need no. to... Okay. Hmm. You might have to go around to the room. There's a mirror. Oh goodness, this is so. I, this is the one part I knew I wouldn't. I would dread, but I don't remember. There's a because there's that's a, a dead end too, right there. I don't remember how to get back over. 
There's a mirror. Did you say right before walking in? Oh yeah. There's a mirror. I want to go ahead and just do that. Yo, oh, yeah, I definitely was saving before I walked into that. We may not even do this in this one. I have to figure out which side of each room is a mirror and which is a passage. I hate these things. Okay, well, let's, let's try going around the opposite way. There's the path here. Then, then, yeah. then down. One, and then There's oh, a mirror. Yeah. Then back. Back. Back to the right. Yeah. And then down. Down, down, down. And then to the left. The downward left, like the yeah. side. Yeah. Then back, downward right. Go. I'm in a dead end. Up. Oh, got him down. And then up. There's a me. There's a me. Oh, I think we got off on the wrong. Let's. We need down here. No, we never made it to there. Yeah. There's a me. how even Mike's like, oh god, we have so, to do this. <laughs> There's down the path here. There, then, well, yeah, down. And then to the There's left. There's a mirror. To the right. And down. Um, down. I'm not, I'm not able to go down. Oh, you gotta click this one. You're in that space. You need to be in that space. No. Oh. And then down one more. And then to the downward left. I need to. Then back to, to this. the right. Yeah. And then down. And then up to that space. Where you can't even see it. And then up. Down. Then up. I need to find. There's a mirror. There's a mirror. Now you're supposed to be able to go down. There's a mirror. I need to find. Wow. I guess that is a door. Like it's not a. Yeah. Yep. I cannot go through. Hmm. I need to find. I need to go up. And then go over. I need to up. Pretty much stuck, so whatever we're gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to go to... back to the beginning. Oh, is there mirror. any way we had to use the the key anywhere in there? Yeah, you use the key when you get to the door. Okay. Which we're not at. That's what we have to get to. Yeah, when you get to the ornate area, you use the key. Which side of each room is a mirror, and which is a passage? 
I hate these. That thing right there. <laughs> it should be that. Well, maybe it, it's to get to that to get to that. Yeah. So if that's the case, then down, over, down, over. There's a mirror. says it has a keyhole. This one has... The key opened the mirror. Yay. There's a Alright, because we're not going any farther. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We better in case it decides to like... I don't know how it saves. I can't uh, remember. Let's go yeah. ahead and, and do it. <laughs> Did we just go crazy? Michael, at last you have come to save us. Okay. She looks like alien. Yeah, it's a gets a giger thing. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I am the keeper of the light. At least that is who I used to be. The ancients have seized the light from me. You must retrieve it and use it to destroy the power generator before it is too late. Then it is true. The ancients have returned. I'm not crazy. He probably feels pretty you relieved. You not so. All of the dark world belongs to them now, and they plan to conquer the normal world too. You are our last hope of stopping them. Oh no. <laughs> You're our only hope. What is this generator you're talking about? It is the machine that is incubating the behemoth, the beast they intend to unleash on your world. The generator is powered by human brain cells. The Just light. what is the light? The light is the truth. One of three points of the triangle, as are the scrolls and the sword. But the ancients now possess it, and perhaps the other two points as well. What are the scrolls? The scrolls contain the wisdom of the dark world. They have been missing since the Keeper of the Scrolls was captured and imprisoned. Uh, what is this sword? What is the sword? S-words! It's S-words! <laughs> the Sword of Justice is the third point of the Triangle. It has the power to sever that which never should have been joined. So it's a divorce law? Divorce law? Divorce law? What happened yeah. to you? The Dreketh Guard disemboweled me, then threw me into the maze to die. 
You must hurry, or billions will die on both sides of the portal. Is there anything I can do for you? I've been disemboweled, no. No. I am dying. Now quickly, you must rescue the light and gather the points. Destroy the generator. You are our only hope. Dear God, why? <laughs> why is it me? How horrible. This must be what happens to Dark Worlders when they die. They turn to statues? Yeah, she kind of just went, her. Well, that's a great place to stop. <sighs> that wasn't and heavy or anything. No, okay. it's no, so we're in the Dark World in the next episode of Dark Seed 2. Bye, everybody. See you then. Maybe there'll be more mazes. Oh, there is. Yes, there are more mazes. <laughs> oh, dear God. Yes. Bye, everybody. Mazes. Mazes and Monsters is a far out game. <laughs> it's like trolls and, and taverns. Yeah, right. Or dungeons and daddies. <laughs> Bye, everybody.